Are you eager to produce stunning, unlimited videos from only text without spending a dime? Well, you've landed in the perfect spot. Today, I'm going to introduce Potat One and give you a demo on it. It is an incredible text-to-video generator and is an open-source software. It can make videos of higher resolution than Gen 2. It was trained with Lambda Labs using around 2,200 clips and 10,000 training steps. It is basically based on scope model, but has been trained on a large amount of data. Further information about the scope model can be obtained from the links in the description. Let's now see how we can generate our free videos with Potat1 by running remotely in a collab. Before we move forward, I'd appreciate it if you please subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot to us. Let's move forward. For this demo, we're gonna run it on free Google Collab using this GitHub link that you can find in the description below. On the main page, you'll find a couple of tutorials and some examples you can check out. Just keep in mind that those examples might be cherry-picked. Now, let's dive right in and start generating a video from a text. We'll head over to this link and give a click to get things rolling. On that page, you'll see two sets of codes. But before we can run the code, we gotta make sure we set our runtime to use a GPU because Potat1 requires a GPU with at least 15GB VRAM that Google Collab provides free, and video length can be about 1 second or less. Once that's all set, and run the first code. It'll install some Python packages and their dependencies. Alright, so running the code will take around 5 to 7 minutes. Once it's done successfully, you should see filtering content 100% as the last line. If you come across a warning asking you to restart the runtime, just ignore it. After that, we move on to the next step, where we'll provide positive and negative prompts along with other settings. If you want better accuracy, you can adjust the number of steps. The guidance scale determines how closely the results align with the prompts and you can also set the frames per second for the video speed and the desired number of frames. Let's give our prompt and run on the default settings since Google Collab has limitations of making videos up to one second length. While the code is running, you might encounter a tensor RT warning, but don't worry about that either. Once the second step is complete, head over to the output folder on the left-hand side of the screen and download your video file. Here's the result. The video looks great. It's coherent and the overall quality is mind-blowing. Here is another example. No doubt, Potat1 is a great free alternative to Gen 2. However, the requirement of a powerful GPU with a large VRAM for generating long videos can be a significant limitation for some users. Potat2 is in the oven and let's see what it brings. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Please like, subscribe and share our channel. Thanks.